Good morning, everybody. It's Maquita. And I wanted to come and share with you some things that I received from our dear sweet friend, Janine. She uh, did a swap with me, and we agreed to do this swap quite some time ago. And um, we both just had a lot going on, you know, busy lives. So um, we have finally gotten our packages in the mail and... Um, I received mine yesterday, and Janine had hers a few days earlier, so she was gracious enough to wait for me to get mine before she opened her box of goodies from me. So, um, if you don't know Janine, what a lovely, talented, dear friend she is to so many. She's just a wonderful person, and, and um, I'm blessed to have been able to do a swap with her. Thank you so much, Janine. And uh, let me get started. She sent a lot. <laughs> and Janine is just that way. She's just very generous, very kind, such a big heart. And, and um, but I have a lot to get through. So um, she's made um, a really pretty envelope and she's written a very lovely note for me on the inside but in that very pretty it's made from a foil paper so thank you so much for that sweet note and then she sent me a box of goodies here and I'm definitely going to alter this box and it's the perfect size so uh, take a look at what she had inside she's got everything wrapped in this um, very pretty um, deep red organza type fabric. It's just beautiful. I love it. And then she's put this um, mask in there. Isn't that gorgeous? Stunning. You know, I don't know that I will do anything to it. It's so pretty just the way it is. I think I may just put it on my Christmas tree and the rest of the year it will just stay in my room. It's just too gorgeous. I don't think I'm going to. It doesn't need to be altered. It's beautiful just the way it is. So thank you so much for that. And then she's included this gorgeous little flower. And I'm not sure if she made it. But uh, can you see the little raised area? It's like uh, stiff netting in between. Or it's kind of actually on top of each little petal. This part down here is velvet, and then this part is a net, and then it has these um, pretty deep burgundy uh, colored roses all around, and then just covered in little um, rhinestones. Just so pretty. I just love it. So if you made that, Janine, you'll have to do a tutorial and let us know, but it's gorgeous. I love that. I can't wait. It just speaks gypsy to me. I can't wait to use it. And then, oh my gosh, take a look at this coin purse. You know, Janine knows that I love color, and she did not hesitate to use color on every project, and I am just in love with everything. It, it's just, it's just like a garden. It's just so full of color. Everything is in bloom. <laughs> beautiful image beautiful beautiful colors I absolutely love this this color of applique that's on here it looks um, as if it's a vintage applique I'm not sure if it is but it's just stunning and just so many different things to look at she's got mulberry flowers satin rose flowers then there's little tiny sprigs of berries, little stamens, and then little uh, snippets of an off-white. I think maybe this might be washing that out. I don't know if that's any better or not. Oh, let's see if we can turn it just a tad. That might be better. But uh, it's just gorgeous stunning trim, a little flower trim across the top, 
And then uh, look at the back. It's, the back is just as pretty as the front. Amazing. I mean, you can see why anyone would want to do a swap with Janine. Her work is just exceptional. It's just, it leaves me speechless. And then she's put some gorgeous pieces inside. Look at that. Beautiful. And I believe there's one more in here. I'm not sure if she actually made the purse. I'll show you the inside of it. But look at that pin. Can't wait to use these. But inside here, it's lined in um, kind of a salmon color. I mean, I know it looks pink on my monitor, but it's it's not quite that dark. But it has a divider in the middle, so you know, it has a little section on each side. But it's just stunning. I mean, you absolutely love it, Janine. You did an amazing job on that. I'm just in love with it. Thank you so much for that. Okay, I don't even know what to show you next. She sent so much. Okay, let's go with this little fabric book. And just look at the colors. I just love this color here. Again, it's kind of a vintage, dusty kind of a... Um, it's It has a touch of gray, but yet... <clears throat> Excuse me, it's early in the morning. I still have morning voice. Um, but it has a touch of gray and a little bit of, um, oh, I don't know what to say. A light, lav like an antique lavender color. It's just very pretty, very striking color. And it matches the inside lining of this little uh, book. And she's got different um, trims across the bottom, laces and there's a little trim it's almost like a, a fiber trim and then she has little flat back pearls on it and then this gorgeous lace that goes around the edge and look at the back again the back is just as beautiful as the front i love that applique and then of course she's made a pocket on the front and she's put Two little pins, little clothes pins, the wooden clothes pins inside, and she's wrapped a really pretty trim around it and pinned it with the tiniest little delicate flower. It has little tiny bits of gold on the leaves. And then this one, another pretty trim. So delicate and pretty. And then look at the uh, flower trim she's used there. Okay, let's go inside. And then she's just filled it with fabrics. And I love this. This um, I'm assuming that this was a part of, <clears throat> excuse me, a part of uh, a doily that I just love. And she's used it to cover the pocket. And then she's just added a pom-pom trim. No, it's not a pom-pom trim. It's actually part of this. And it's just gathered along the side. Made it look like it's pom-poms. And then uh, she's got little flowers that she's added along there. And look at that beautiful one in the center. The red rhinestone. And then um, it's got gold stamens in there. And then... I know I need to move a little faster because this video is going to go on forever. Look at this gorgeous fabric. It is just beautiful. I'm thinking it was probably or is probably a napkin. But it's in a very, very light gold color. So pretty. And then we have this one. This is a fabric. And... It has almost like a, a gold lame uh, flecking that's going on on top of it, on top of a cream color fabric. So pretty. And then this one, which is um, kind of a dusty blue color, and then it has this raised area right here. The, the pattern on there is actually a velvet. So pretty. 
I can't wait to use these things. And then uh, look at the inside of the book. She's covered it all with lace and gone around with a different. Now this is a pleated trim and then she's got another pleated trim here. And then she's got a beautiful flower inside. And she's placed flat backs on there. So pretty. Oh, the work that went into making this little book is just so nice. Thank you so much. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, I won't put everything back right now. And um, I didn't show you the tie is made out of seam binding. She's used a gray and a white, and then she's put um, little embellishments on both sides at the ends. So pretty. Okay. All right, next um, we'll do this little pouch, another pretty little pouch. And look how she's used... This is one. This one is different than the one that's on here. This one is a little bit more delicate of a doily, but just as pretty as the other one. And then she's got different laces underneath, and then a shabby flower under there. I love the colors in that. And then a pretty burgundy bow, and another pretty. Um, it's a satin ribbon with a little gold edge on it, and pretty bling there. And she's added. Uh, some doilies at the top and there's a pretty um, fabric, a flower fabric in the back and then she's got a little tiny flower there and it's done on one of those, it's kind of like a burlap bag and then there's another one of those shabby flowers and she's trimmed it with different laces and um, some of the flat back uh, pearl trim and then inside she's included some napkins which Thank you so much, Janine, for these because I don't have a very good selection of napkins. That should be my next challenge is to ask for napkins because I just don't have very many. And these are perfect. They're so colorful. I don't think I have seen anything like these around here. <clears throat> and uh, they're just perfect to go in a gypsy book or something of that style. And look at that one. That one's more of a steampunk, but it's still, I love the colors in there. Just beautiful. Beautiful selection of napkins. Thank you for those. And also in here, she has a little tassel that she's altered. She's put, um, I don't know if she altered or she made it. She could have made it. But it's done in um, like a burgundy color, um, the fibers. And then... A button at the top. She's put a couple of doilies at the top. Very pretty doilies. Little tiny ones. And then um, a couple of little flower appliques. Two different flower appliques underneath. And then she's added a pretty uh, pearl dangle in there. And gone around the top of the tassel with a little bit of trim and a few beads there. Just a stunning tassel. Love it. Thank you so much for that. And all of that was in that uh, pretty little bag. So, okay, let me show you uh, another bag that she gifted to me. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? The bling is just is so stunning. It's beautiful. And the bag is so soft. Oh my gosh, and of course, you know, in the color that I absolutely love. Love, love, love. And then uh, a gold chain. And let me show you, sorry for the noise, got a noisy truck going by out there. She's just stuffed this bag with, um, look at the inside. It's done in a gray. But such a stunning bag. I absolutely love it. I would actually carry this bag, but I won't. I'm going to keep it in my room. And she's wrapped all of these different uh, fabrics with this gorgeous, gorgeous trim. And it has tiny little sequins in the center, and then the edges are done in a velvet fabric. And then she's pinned it with this beautiful pin. 
So let me show you these gorgeous fabrics. Oh gosh, just so many. Look at that. That one is a blue. It's a shade of blue with a gold scroll pattern on it. And then we've got this piece. If I ooh and ah over every one of them, well, I'll never get through the video. So I just have to keep going. And then look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, so pretty. And then look at that. Green is so hard to find. Thank you so much for including some green. But I am so limited on that. And that's a very pretty piece. And then there's two pieces of this. So pretty. And it's on a light green fabric. Just so beautiful. And then we've got this trim. In gold. Very pretty. And then this fabric is, it's actually, I thought it was two separate pieces at first. But as you can see, it's all one piece, green on one side and a fuchsia color on the other. And it has these small little um, embellished areas. This one is uh, sequins and, and the rhinestone. And then some of the others are uh, gold threads going around it. Very pretty. What a stunning piece of fabric. Okay, and then there's this one. The pink and... Um, the iridescent sequins there and then this gorgeous piece with all the gold on it gold threading going through it and then we've got this piece isn't that pretty so gorgeous and then this piece I could never find all these different fabrics here. Gorgeous. Thank you so much for sending me these. They are just perfect for what I like to do. Oh gosh. And another piece there. This one has hooks. You can tell it came from a garment. It's got the hooks on it. And then this gorgeous piece. It almost looks like uh, swans. Okay, and then I'll just put those things here. Okay, um, we'll go to this little box here. I think she's handmade the box. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful box. And, um, got lots of different um, appliques and laces you know at the bottom under this beautiful uh, jewelry piece there and look at the image she's dressed her hair and added buttons and trims and the colors are just so pretty just so very pretty and then um, lots of beautiful dangles and laces. Oh, I absolutely love that button. I think I have some, but mine are brown. And this one is in a reddish color. Very pretty. And then look at that fabric on the back. So pretty. And she has um, a fabric hook here, which goes over that knob. But as you can see, I've already been in this box. So look at the inside. Beautiful, beautiful flowers, and I love this fabric here. So pretty. And then she's filled it with so many goodies. We've got applique butterfly, a flower, and leaves, and that beautiful bird. And then um, I have um, this gorgeous lace. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And she's embellished and tied each one. And put a little pretty flower on each one and then she's given me so many of these these are the uh, ribbon roses in the burgundy and white color there's several of those it's like three of each and then all of the laces are all in the same color but they're all different nothing like anything that 
I've seen in stores around here and I certainly don't have any of these they're all different from anything that I have and they're all so pretty just beautiful thank you so much Janine for those and look at the inside of the box she's really finished it off so pretty with all the little flat back embellishments inside so so pretty so much detail okay <clears throat> Okay, let's see. I'll show you this altered box next. Can you believe it? She said so much. And what we had agreed to do was um, a fabric pouch and a book, I believe, and a surprise item. But, you know, as you can see, she surprised me with a lot of things. But this is a wooden box. And she's just uh, embellished it with beautiful trims. And she's got dangles and bling and... Look at that gorgeous trim there. And she's used a rope trim around the edge. She's put a velvet bow on each end with the bling in the center. And she's left the rope handles on there, which is so nice. I love that. And that's actually the front. It has that beautiful flower applique and uh, an acrylic flower there in the center. So pretty. Inside, she's made a little lace holder and gorgeous just look at the colors so pretty i don't know if she made this flower but it's really really a pretty color and then um, she's got ribbon roses in every corner and she's got different laces the lace going around the beautiful image and then a little bit of trim here and then she's got tassels and flowers on the spine look at that gorgeous trim which is actually on the box also I'll show it to you later and then uh, the back of the book has this gorgeous fabric with these pretty little embellished um, area the detail on there is really pretty another little pretty applique there inside she's gifted me uh, different um, they're like fabric swatches and so she's created a pocket here and included a tassel in red and then this beautiful applique piece in that dark dark red it's almost a brown it's so dark red and then she's just um, embellished the front cover inside with lots of little flower appliques but look at these fabrics beautiful and at first I thought they were um, decoration for the page and then I saw the pins and so I realized that it's actually fabrics for me to use that she's put on each page but isn't that gorgeous beautiful beautiful fabric and then she's pinned this piece on to the back page so I can use that piece too it's such a great idea such a great way to uh, gift fabric swatches and she's used um, lace and she's gone through the center of the flowers to bind the book together and so this is the binding laces that she's used to go well actually I think these are maybe tied on no they're going they're going all the way through so it's just a beautiful little book I just love that Thank you so much, Janine, for that. I'm going to put those back right now. And then she's also gifted, um, she's made a tag. And look, she's added more beautiful trims. The beautiful bead dangle there. But the trims are all so different. I love that dark green one there. I love them all, but that one really speaks to me. And then look at that flower amazing amazing and look at the leaves each of the leaves these are two these two have the yellowy orange centers and this one has the bluish purple center the flower is just a rainbow by itself it's just so colorful and beautiful look at that beautiful applique there the whole flower and then this is an amazing piece here. 
it's uh, like a snippet roll. I would say it is a snippet roll. And she's used, I believe that is the same fabric that's on the back there. No, it's different. It has the same pattern, but it's a different fabric. And then she's got different um, appliques all around, another pretty flower, more appliques. This is a tiny little ring. I could probably get it on my pinky finger. Isn't that pretty? And attached to it is this beautiful piece, this rhinestone piece with the red rhinestone there in the middle. Gorgeous. And look at the uh, tassel trim. And then she's got it tied. She has a loop there that she's put these ends of the same uh, trim that goes all the way around. She just looped it through there. And then you unroll it like a, um, a snippet roll and it's just filled with more goodies to use. Isn't this something? <laughs> just covered with all kinds of appliques and jewelry pieces and tassels and more of that crocheted trim that I just love. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful pieces to use. And then let's go through these quickly. There's that one. Oh, that's beautiful. And that one and that one. Oh gosh. Such beautiful pieces. And more green. Thank you so much, Janine. I absolutely love everything. And can you believe all that was in this box? And then there's that beautiful trim that goes around the top. Such a pretty, pretty trim. I love it. Okay. Let's put that there. All right, now we'll move to the fabric pouch, which was supposed to be a part of the um, swap, and it is. And Janine was actually worried that I wouldn't like this. And I don't know why, because it speaks to me. I mean, it has Laquita all over it as far as I'm concerned. It is it's stunning. It is absolutely perfect. She couldn't have done a, a better job on picking out colors. And it leaves me speechless in the back of it. Oh, my gosh. Look at this piece of work that's on the back. I'm going to have to move this over here. But look at that. I would have loved to have seen this fabric in its entirety because um, she's covered the front of it, which is fine. I mean, you can kind of see the colors peeking through, but it's such a gorgeous piece. Look at all the embroidery work on that flower. And that's a leaf over there. But just so beautiful. Wow. It is stunning, stunning, stunning. And, of course, just covered with laces and uh, flowers and bling. And I love that. Inside, and even look at this trim. I love that color trim, too. Inside, oh, isn't that pretty? She's used a brown satin, uh, not satin, silk uh, fabric there. And then just completely embellished it with um, a pretty applique and bridal snippet there and a beautiful flower and and then there's more of that gorgeous fabric there and here she's actually she's done uh, appliques on top of the actual flowers that are in the in the print there but they look like they're a part of it perfect it's just perfect I love the little trim Look at all the flat back pearls that she has going across. And then these beautiful flower appliques and little roses in the corners. And a tassel trim. So pretty. I can't get over it. It's beautiful. Oh, gosh. I don't think I could do this. I don't think I could do work like this. I'm so happy that Janine made it for me. And then, of course, she had this all package so nice and neat and she has a note on here dear Laquita you've 
you're the perfect person to gift my um, vintage, my handmade vintage looking love letter stack. And then when I read that, I was like, no, she didn't give me her love letter stack. I hope you all saw that video. Oh my gosh, when I saw it, I couldn't believe that she made them because they they look so vintage. I had to show, of course, everything to my husband, but when he got to these love letters, he's like, oh my gosh. He said, I'm afraid to open anything because it's so old, it's, it's gonna fall apart in my hands. And I said, no, no, it's really not that old. It, it's just meant to look that way. But, oh my gosh, I absolutely love it, love it, love it. She's embellished. Well, I, you know, I'm not going to go into all the detail because she did a video on these and I'll go back and see if I can find it and link it in the description box for you to go over and take a look. But um, I just, I loved it when I saw them and oh, I can't, I just can't believe that she gave them to me. So, so beautiful. And this one is actually sealed and it's been opened at the top. And not all of them have something inside, but some of them do. And then this one, so beautiful. This one is made from a different paper. It's uh, almost like a vellum, but, but it looks like it's thin like vellum, but yet it feels like paper. I'm not sure what the type of paper is on that, but oh my gosh, I just can't believe she gave those to me. So that's what came in that beautiful pouch. And now for the book. Oh goodness, this book. First of all, the book was wrapped in this gorgeous, gorgeous napkin. And look at the uh, print on there. It's um, embellished. The leaves are embellished. Just beautiful, beautiful napkin. Thank you so much for that. And then that was um, this beautiful flower and ribbon was tied around that. So it was all tied around this beautiful book. And the way she's done this flower, she's created like a belly band so that you can, you know, tighten it, make it as small as you'd like. I thought was pretty smart so I'll definitely scrap lift that idea but I like that and this flower is really pretty perfect color for me I love all the rhinestones beautiful beautiful okay and then the book which is shaped like a purse and oh my gosh I had to stop and catch my breath on this one. She's got a gold beaded chain for the handle. But oh my goodness. It is just so me. <laughs> just love it. Absolutely love it. Wow. Um, I hope she does a video and she will explain each of the pages to you because I'm sure I won't do it justice like she would. Look at this fabric, it's all beads. And it looks like it's very, very old. The, the fabric that the beads are attached to, uh, it looks like it's a really a vintage piece. Stunning, stunning. And then she's gone all around it with this tassel trim, which is in the pink and burgundy, which is just, perfectly matches everything. It just makes me so happy just to look at the cover. It's just, I just love it. Look at this beautiful flower. Oh gosh, I know you guys want me to move on, but I have to just let you drink it in a little bit. Look at that. And then there's more of that crocheted piece that I just love. And Janine loves to take fabric and weave it through her doilies and uh, she's done that here with this fabric and so the ends here. So pretty. Okay, I know you want me to move on. 
All right, look at this page. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful work. Dangling beads everywhere. The gimp trim is kind of a rose gold color. It has sparkles of gold going through it. And so does this leaf trim. And then beautiful bling. And the images in this book are just beautiful, beautiful. And um, look at all the beading. I don't know if she did this bead work. But it's all around. Beautiful laces. This is... Um, I was going to say it was a sari silk, but I'm not sure what type of fabric that is. It's beautiful going around there. It's almost like a cheesecloth. So pretty. And then she's actually run, and I don't know if she did it or she bought it like that, but the little tiny uh, thread goes through um, the doily all around. And then the next page, look at that. Oh my gosh. Beautiful colors. Beautiful image. She's put a necklace on her. Oh, I just love it. I couldn't make this in a million years. Stunning. Okay, and then the next page. Look at that. Oh, wow. I love her dresses. They just look so real. Like you could see somebody wearing that. Look at the dangles. There's more of that fabric that I love going around there. With all the little bling. Pretty burgundy laces. Look at that beautiful piece over there. She's cut that out from fabric and added flowers. Beautiful beadwork there. So pretty. Look at just different layers under there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, and then this page. Oh, gosh. So pretty. And look at that green button. Beautiful dangling beads. Look at that applique there and that beautiful flower and light purple and just just little snippets everywhere. I love this. So pretty. Okay. We have to keep it moving, I know. Wow. You love that image. So many different little things to see. I'm definitely going to go back and go through this book and take my time and look at every page. The last page is just as pretty as all the others and it's the pocket page. Gorgeous, isn't it? Wow. All of the details and there's actually dried flowers right here. Look at that pretty purple trim going under there. And this little uh, booklet, <clears throat> excuse me, it says, The beauties featured in this book of the pre-Raphaelite era. I've never heard of the Raphaelite era, but um, this book is explains all about the images that she's used in here. So I won't read it. There's quite a few pages, but I'll just go slow enough. So if you want to, you can pause and read each page. But thank you so much, Janine, for putting this together and, and um, including it in the book. Just beautiful. I love the paper that she's used, that she's printed on. It's so pretty. And of course, you know, she embellished the book with um, a bit of jewelry and some pieces. So that is it. That was my swap. And gosh, Janine, you have blessed me so much. I'm just amazed, totally amazed at what you've gifted to me. And I love everything. Don't 
don't even give it a second thought that I don't like anything because I love it all. There's just, it's just spot on. Perfect, perfect for me. And I love it. And thank you so much, Janine, for everything. You really touched my heart. So I'm sure I have kept you all long enough. I'll let you go. And I'm going to sit and go through my goodies again and again and again and find the perfect place to put them in my room. So, um, it's been taking me a while to get videos uploaded for some reason. YouTube seems to be doing something different now. And, um, so it may be a while. I'm doing this in the mornings, but it may be this evening before I ever get it loaded. So, um, be patient. I'm sorry, um, Janine, if it took me a little while to get it up, I'm, I'm going at it as fast as I can. So thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Have a great day. Take care. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.